Seven Mile Beach at Jarawa and looking pretty good for sunset tonight. There is a fair bit of bushfire smoke around, adding to a, a haze in the air. I think it just has a reduction bushfire smoke, not actual bushfires, although it's probably a portent of what's to come because it's forecast to be a particularly bad year this year for the old bushfires. So we've got almost exclusively high cloud up here. And the haze you see in the far distance there are the mountains, that's the bushfire smoke. So it's kind of intermingling. have any great plan of action in place when I come down on an evening like this. I'm just enjoying the recreational aspects of landscape photography. It's my hobby. I earn a little bit of money from it, but mainly it's just something I enjoy doing. And I never have any great sort of plan sketched out. I just react to the situation and, you know, observe the ocean, observe the people, the sky, what's the sun doing, how's the wind affecting everything. Hopefully I come away with some nice photographs that uh, I can share, uh, but that's not the main aim. Half the time, it's just about being out down the beach and unwinding. Well, here's the scene from the top dune, looking down the beach. I think we've got the, uh, the guy, the Welsh surfer that was in the video the other day. I'm pretty sure that's him. A little bit earlier than last time. A little bit of a wave. Not much. Probably better further down the beach where all the other surfers are, that's for sure. Now the advantage of coming down with no plan in place is that you can't be disappointed. <laughs> if you've got no great overarching, you know, scheme in place that you want to photograph, and you just enjoy yourself and take some nice photographs, then it's a win-win, ain't it? Alrighty, there's still quite a few surfers in the water down that away. So I've already put the 100 to 400 lens on the Fujifilm X-T4. I'm gonna bust that out and do some nice long full zoom photos on there. So it's like 600 mil on the crop sensor of the X-T4, which will bring these people nicely into focus. And I'm expecting and hoping that cloud on the edge of the, the national park there that curls around the edge of the beach to become more saturated as the sun sets. Fingers crossed, let's take some photos. I've got the old Peak Designs bag here. This is not an advert for them. I don't rate this bag at all. I regret buying it. I bought the smaller one too, so I'm a glutton for punishment. But the problem with it is this, it, it's too stiff. The fabric's too stiff. It's too hard to get things in and out. And to properly access the interior, you have to kind of wedge the, the flap down like that, which is less than ideal. Got the uh, bazooka already on the camera because I kind of envisaged what I was going to be doing before I came down. So I swapped it over in the car where it's a bit more convenient. Turn the stabilization on, turn the lens lock off, and let's zoom in, see what we can see. Okay, I'm gonna shoot bracketed, I think. Oh, no, I won't actually, because it's very 
flat colour at the moment, no need for bracketing. There's some nice kind of people shots down there. Should almost be shooting these in black and white actually. Looks like surf camp are packing up for the day. They're all sort of huddled in together. I'll, show, I'll put it on the screen and show you. Don't quite know what's going on there. They're all huddled together. So we've got how many surfers down there? Oh, there's one. Not many surfers. I'm not surprised. It's not a brilliant swell for surfing. Oh, let's hope these colours saturate on the horizon. What we got here, got people walking out with a surfboard, people walking in with their surfboards, people walking on the sand. Got some okay foreground interest options here if we wanted to use them. These beached um, tree branches from the floods. There's a nice big one down here too, but it's uh, blocked by this dune, so unfortunately not going to be of use. But those two ones there, they will. And there's one I've noticed over down on the beach over there that we could possibly employ. Is that crucial? Is that all important? Foreground interest. Kulangati or Mount Kulangata with its European name disappearing in the haze and the mist there. That's quite an evocative shot, isn't it? Might try and shoot that down on the waterline. Nine minutes till sunset. And I'll tell you what, I'm glad I put the old hoodie on. I thought it might be a bit cooler than it looked. It got up to uh, 26 or 27 degrees today, you know, which was lovely and warm, but it's still only spring and it still gets chilly in the evenings. bracketed shot of Kulangata with the telephoto just to compress the scene shooting at f8 I can just about get away with that at this time of night that's uh, early doors but do you know what it's a super wide sort of an evening Telephoto comes in really handy on this beach when you're shooting down into the sun because you get all the people silhouetted. In fact, it's one of my favorite kind of shots. I'll stick a few examples of what I'm talking about on the screen and you can see what I mean. It's a really evocative kind of shot for me, a very kind of Australian summery shot where the people are very sort of dark, very dark silhouettes and the beautiful orange skies behind them. I love all that. That's looking nice with the ultra wide. Definitely a wise decision. Time to go down to the water's edge, I think, and see if we can get a bit of the, uh, the color that's starting to emerge in the uh, reflections in the water on the shoreline. So I think it's a waiting game at the moment. Gotta see if this sky colors up so that's sunset now typically speaking best color about 10 minutes after the sun has set I think that one of the issues with uh, the hobby of photography in this modern era is that social media has turned it into a competition and we all feel this weight of expectation on us to go out and score amazing shots and that's ludicrous when you think about it someone's hobby you know if they're uh, like a watercolor artist 
Do they have those same expectations? I don't think they do, do they? They might enter a competition, possibly, but they don't go out there and think, you know, oh, this is going to go great on Insta. It's just bonkers to me. I genuinely feel like social media is a, a bit of a poison. It's utterly transformed society very much for the worse. Cloud update, five minutes after sunset, and I do think we've got a fizzer on our hands. I'm not sure we're gonna get any color. It looks like the bushfire smoke uh, has been too thick. It's blocking the sun on the horizon and stopping it from backlighting. I kind of knew that was the case because there was absolutely no color on the reverse sunset. But you live in hope. that's 10 minutes after sunset and I know it looks a little bit saturated on the iPhone but it really isn't there's no color in that sky at all it's a very flat washed out hazy sort of a scene and that's not really my vibe I'm all about the color and the contrast and also I've got like six million of these shots <laughs> I have to say, I do prefer the messenger style or sling bags for the most part when I'm down somewhere like this, photographing the sunset at the beach. I know you've seen me with my big backpack in my last few videos, but I actually take that out fairly rarely. I don't often like lugging around everything. I usually prefer the kind of the more slim down approach of having a camera and a couple of lenses and the old tripod, of course, strapped to the bottom of the, uh, of the bag there. I can't fault the, the build quality on the old pig designs, but it's just not a very usable bag. It's just so annoying. This strap, you have to constantly open it and lower it to get it down to a useful height. And then you've got to fold this lid because it just constantly flops forward. It's a very frustrating bag. I was very disappointed when I got it. I thought I'd struck gold, but it was not to be. Well, I'm going to officially call it. It's a fizzer. I do love the beach at this time of night where everyone's sort of pissed off home. All the holiday makers have gone back to their houses or their tents or caravans to have a bit of tea and a beer. And uh, it's left to people like me. in not photographing that beautiful sun over the creek that I showed you guys at the start of this video. I'm often in a bit of a hurry to get down onto the beach and I don't stop to photograph that scene. The old FOMO kicking in, you're thinking I've got to get to a good spot. I think that was actually probably the shot of the night and I walked straight past it. Of course, the great thing about sunrises and sunsets is, 
there's always another one just around the corner <laughs> and uh, the cloud forecast for sunrise is looking pretty damn good much better than the forecast for this sunset so I will be setting the alarm sunrise tomorrow is at 6 a.m. another day another sunrise Thank you.